up, man. Pink hoodie, pink hoodie. I was just watching David's vlog and I noticed that he used Jeff's bobblehead. What is that? It's me. <laughs> Either my bobblehead's getting replaced. Remember when Jeff first came in and everyone was like, oh my god, he's replacing Scott. <laughs> And you fucking fooled, huh? <laughs> Me, my girlfriend, my best friends, and my dog. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my vlog. Oh, oh, man. David does this thing where he gives us $100 in order for us to let him shoot us with paintball guns. Hello, Todd. No, you, <laughs> you caught me. You get a free pass. Right. This guy doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> And after he shot me two times, I realized that there was something else in the deal. We're allowed to shoot him back. So I went out and I got one of these bad boys. Fully stocked and ready to be loaded, baby. How the hell did that literally do absolutely nothing to you? What the fuck? It's go time, Slovak. Hi. <laughs> Guess what I got? I got the goods, baby. Bro, I knew it. Come over and David's sleeping? Always. This is the worst day ever. Oh, you're not sleeping. Good morning. Oh, look who it is. David's asleep. This is the quietest I've ever seen this house. Shh. Boom. I take my space pack. Let's go. Hey. I'm from space. I came Are you talking to Zane or vlogging me, dog? I'm doing a little bit of both. I gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye, Zane. What happened to him? Uh What's up with I don't know. He looks like a koala hugging a tree. Did you know that koalas are like terrible animals? They're mean bastards. They're mean. They're incredibly stupid. They have the smallest brain to body ratio of any animal, Koalas? apparently. Yeah. Next to Jonah. To <laughs> That's mean. Sorry, Jonah. Next to Jason. <laughs> Man. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Hey, it was great to see you. Great to see you too. Bye, Dave. It's great hanging out with you. <laughs> Bye, Natalie. Bye. Well, that didn't really go according to plan, so I guess I'll come back later. <laughs> Look at you, smiling like a fucking jackass. You think life's gonna be easy? It's not gonna throw you curveballs and make you feel like shit every once in a while? No matter how many times we fail, we have to get back up and try again. And that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get back up, and you're gonna go to David Dobrik's house, and you're gonna shoot him! Just like you were supposed to do today. Because if you give up on yourself, then everyone else will too. I'm sorry, David. Didn't mean to fuck you up that bad. <laughs> so this this gym is 35 minutes away from my house right now? Yes. So how far away is it from your house? About 45. With traffic. Why do you drive that far to the gym every day? Because I hate working out by myself now. You're working out by You could just work out with me. It's just easier to be trained instead of having to like do the same boring routine over and over again, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta fucking deal with this every fucking morning. It's nice just to like drive alone sometimes, you know? I just think. You don't wanna work out by yourself, but you like driving <laughs> alone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pink hoodies linked in the description below. Lonely, 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 lonely. Todd likes being lonely in the car, but not at the gym. I like being lonely all the time. Got my thing. We just finished our first workout in I don't know how many years. That was good. It's been like a year. Maybe maximum. Is that my camera? Yeah, it's your camera. <laughs> well, Todd's busy today, so I got to call in a favor from the old uh, Jeff. Yo. Hey there, Jeffrey. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Well, see, I got one of these bad boys, one of these paintball guns. Oh. Shit. I was wondering if maybe you could help me out if you're free at all today. Yeah, of course. You want to shoot somebody? I got, I got somebody in mind if you don't have any, anybody you'd want to shoot. I got a very specific person in mind. Who are you thinking? Well, I was thinking David Dobrik. Yeah, that's that's who I was thinking. Maybe some sweet revenge. If you could get him to go on a hike with you. If that's going to be tough. He doesn't like doing anything. But um, I'll, I could ask him right now. Then I can hide in the rainforest. As long as we get him to say yes to a hike, that's going to be a big deal, you know? You got the charm. I figure like you might be able to do it. So last night he edited all night, so he might be... Waking up soon and want to do something active. I'll text him right now and I'll see. All right, let me know. All right, sounds good. I'll call you in a few. All right, see ya. All right. Bad news, man. I tried everything. This guy just doesn't want to come. I tried bribing him. I told him that I had, there was a bunch of Instagram models coming with us, and he still wasn't even interested. Uh, I don't know what to do. Fuck. <laughs> hey, Bruce. 
What's up? I have cool glasses on. Do I look cool? Yeah, you look really cool. I've been trying to shoot David with a paintball and I have two failed attempts. Okay. Is there any way that you could ask David to do your podcast tonight and I'll be there and when he gets there, I shoot him with a paintball gun? I think we can make this happen, but getting him to be there would be the hard part. Do you want to just ask him? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Scott. Mr. Bruce. Here's the deal. Carly asked him. Told him we only need him for 20 minutes to do the podcast. He'll do it, but we have to come to him. So what I'm saying is maybe we can set it up to be like, hey, man, I like I told her to buy time while I called you to say Bruce is going to see if he can bring all his gear. So what I can say to him is like, David, can you help me? I just got to grab like this like mixing board thing to do the podcast. He'll bitch about it, whatever. When you come out, when he comes out to the car to help me, you shoot him. Maybe I could be in the car, like in the trunk of the car or something. Oh, yeah, that's even better. I like that. Well, that didn't work. No. We he, tried. He kind of bailed on the whole podcast thing, too, huh? Yeah, well, to be fair, it was very last minute. To, to get David to do anything, it's just, like, impossible. Not because he doesn't want to, he's just always doing things. It's hard to pin him down in, like, one place. I don't know. I try to get him to go hiking, try to get him to do a podcast. All, these... <laughs> all the things he doesn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have someone invite him to get yogurt or something like that that he actually would do. Or like, I don't want to go shoot him at Wingstop in I public. I want to do it yeah. somewhere. It's like... I feel like your best bet would to be go to his house when he's gone and just, like, wait in his closet. Like, not even kidding. Okay, attempt number four. I had this idea. I want to tell David that I'm doing a brand deal for this video game. I'm going to ask him to help me do an ad read. I'm going to say something like this. It's a game where you have to go on missions to assassinate people when they least expect it. And when I say that, I would like to shoot David with the paintball gun. I even created a fake campaign brief that tells me my talking points and what the deal is about. I created an email just in case he wants to look at it. Me and you in the center? Yeah. You want to hold a rocket launcher? Scott looks like he's in the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. I said the Matrix. Be in this. God damn it. Yeah. It's over. He guessed it already. Go ahead, Dave. I was ready to. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys are planning something, aren't you? And that's why he walked away, so we could grab his fucking gun. I grabbed my gun, because I thought they were planning something, and then I patted him down. Because they're dressed as fucking hitman in my house, and he, he does this <laughs> thing with his, like, mouth when he's, like, lying, so, like, I <laughs> Oh, so, wait, what did I do? Dude, no, I, I, I felt so nervous. I was like, I've never been so nervous I to was, film a brand deal. <laughs> I his hands are like this with the phone. <laughs> Where is the phone? I thought I was about to get fucking shot and so pissed I wasn't even part of this whole fucking Thank shit. Thank God this worked. I haven't used this in a while. It wasn't no. a real brand deal, no. I created an actual brief just in case you wanted to look at it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> when were you gonna shoot him? I have a talking point written into the brief that was like, it's a game where you have to go and assassinate characters when they least expect it. And I was gonna pull out my, I was gonna pull out my gun and shoot you right there. That's great. Well, I fucking failed. This is better. Now you guys give it up for me. I fucking suck. Well, it's great. That you keep failing, though. well, you'll get me soon. No, I won't. This is this is an obvious one. If you guys didn't know already, I released new lonely hoodies. They're red on black, and of course, the pink ones are still available. And all my merch is linked in the description below. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the future. I give a shout out to someone with my notifications on, and today that person is Chelsea. Chelsea, here's your shout out. Chelsea, you're not smelly, but at least you're not from here Because you're really far away, I'm sipping apple juice, not beer But that's irrelevant information, I don't know why I just said it But Chelsea, I appreciate you, it's the truth, I really meant it <laughs> And that's it, let's roll into the credits, shall we? Don't be sad, buy 
my merch I got don't be sad on hoodies and shirts And when you're done with that You can add me on Snap If you don't use that, add me on Instagram If you want a shout out, then peep my tweets And I'll wrap your name over a real sick beat Now, peace He's built for this shit, he lives for this shit We're gonna have to plan a little harder There is one good thing I brought you guys a You know I love merch some lonely hoodies, Cute. which are also linked in my description below. I only brought two. I figure you guys are interchangeable sizes. Yeah, basically. So the same size. Cute. Thanks. Are you gonna shoot me with a paintball gun now if I put it on? After you said that. That's part of the deal. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs>